Welcome to our 2021 commencement ceremony. Good evening. I am Diana Putnam, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. It is my pleasure at this time to welcome you to the 56th commencement exercises for the class of 2021. This year's commencement will again look a little different, but please be assured that although we will not meet in person this year due to the COVID-19 crisis, that does not diminish our pride in your academic accomplishments, and we want to honor and recognize all the hard work that brought you to this point in your life. It is our hope that you enjoy this event with your family and friends as we honor this important day in your lives. Dr. Truckenmiller, President of FM, will now deliver a few welcoming remarks. Good evening and welcome to Fulton Montgomery Community College's 56th Annual Commencement. This is the 21st commencement that I have participated in during my career at FM, and my first as the newly appointed ninth president of the college. For the second year in our college's history, we are not able to be together in person to honor our graduates. Despite the challenges the past 14 months have presented, we did not want to miss the opportunity to celebrate your achievements. The last year has been an extraordinary one. In fact, in an article from the Washington Post, historians ranked it as the sixth worst in the world and the eighth worst in US history. The pandemic dominated our lives. There were disastrous wildfires, protests over police killings, the trial of an impeached president along with a second impeachment, a contentious election, and on top of it all, murder hornets. The first half of this year continued with a second wave of the coronavirus and a storming of the U.S. Capitol. It would be all too easy to succumb to despair. However, there was also cause for celebration. Polio was officially eradicated from the African continent. Also in Africa, the Democratic Republic of Congo discharged its last Ebola patient. Thanks to pandemic stay-at-home orders, animal shelters are emptier than ever. The pandemic also drove a record drop in global carbon emissions. The 2020 election saw the most voter participation in 120 years. NASA launched its most advanced rover yet, to Mars and landed a spacecraft on an asteroid. And for the first time since the space shuttle retired in 2011, a SpaceX rocket sent American astronauts to the International Space Station. The remarkably quick development of COVID-19 vaccines also led to the biggest vaccination campaign in history. During all these highs and lows, you still had homework, exams, and projects. Many of you had to adapt to remote learning for the first time, adding a further challenge. The circumstances of the pandemic created additional hurdles for you to navigate, whether it was teaching your own children at home while they learned remotely, dealing with economic uncertainty, isolation, or the loss of loved ones. Despite the conditions, you prevailed. You overcame each obstacle as it was presented, and you continued forward never losing sight of your goals and staying true to the educational journey. Your time at FM strengthened your abilities to critically examine the world and consider how you will interact with and impact society. It is our hope that your perspective is wider and that you gained valuable knowledge and developed relevant skills. As you continue your lives down whatever path you choose, I encourage you to build upon the knowledge and continue to develop those skills. I also encourage you to keep an open mind and to practice kindness. Through an open mind, you will always be able to meet new people with ideas different from your own. And through kindness, you will contribute to a peaceful world. This is an extraordinary time. The pandemic has changed our lives and generated anxiety and uncertainty. It would be all too easy to focus on what is wrong in the world. However, we can choose to focus on what is right. More importantly, we can build on what is right and make it better. You can make a difference. Take time to celebrate your achievements. You should be proud of what you have done and more importantly, of what you will do. We are certainly proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Truckenmiller. I would now like to invite the chair of the foundation of Fulton Montgomery Community College, Mr. Winsman, to say a few words. Hi, 
I'm Bill Winsman, FMCC Class of 1987. It's my honor to be the Chairman of the FMCC Foundation Board of Directors. Many of you may not be familiar with the FM Foundation. We are the fundraising arm of the college. Each year the Foundation raises funds to grant scholarships and improve the college campus. This year the Foundation will grant over $170,000 in scholarships to FM students. The Foundation also assists in funding the college and the high school program. The proceeds of our annual golf tournament are used towards this valuable initiative. Examples of physical improvements on campus that the Foundation assisted with are the newly renovated Rao Theater given by the generous Rao family. And later this year, construction will begin on the Fenimore Asset Management Financial Technology Center. We expect the new Financial Technology Center to be a state-of-the-art facility, complete with large screen televisions and a streaming stock quote system. The Foundation is composed of a group of people who share a love for FM and are committed to keeping it a great educational asset for Fulton and Montgomery counties. During a normal ceremony, members of the Foundation would meet you backstage at graduation and place an FM alumni pin, just like the one I am wearing. This year, the Foundation will be mailing these to your homes. Due to the pandemic, many of the events FM would normally hold at this time of the year are being conducted in a different manner. Please don't let this diminish the excitement and pride you are feeling. I promise you that all throughout your life you will face adversity. The question is how will you respond to the challenges you face? Whenever I am faced with difficult times, I am reminded of the Helen Keller quote, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. I am sure you all have career and personal goals. My advice to you is to break down these goals into small periods of time. My approach has been to set goals in three to five year increments. I find this approach to be more manageable. My other observation is to work hard through your struggles you will certainly face and take time to recognize your accomplishments and stop and smell the roses once in a while. I encourage you to live life with a high degree of integrity, honesty, and ethics. Every single day we make dozens of decisions. If you make decisions using these guiding principles, I believe you will have less stress, enjoy more self-esteem, and live a successful, happy life. One thing I wish I discovered earlier in my lifetime is the sheer joy one receives from giving back to their communities. Gaining a love for philanthropy has become one of the greatest sources of happiness for my wife and myself. It simply feels good to know you can help others and make the world a better place. It simply feels good to know you can help others and make the world a better place. When you are able to financially support philanthropic causes, please consider the foundation of FMCC. There are several ways to support the foundation, from attending our annual golf tournament or our annual distinguished alumni dinner, to purchasing naming rights to a seat in the Rao Theater, to making a gift of any size. Another great option is to establish a scholarship. Scholarships can be set up as a way of honoring or memorializing a loved one. Like most people, you probably envision needing thousands of dollars to set up a scholarship, when in reality, the average scholarship is just a few hundred dollars per year. In closing, I once again want to congratulate you on attaining this important educational milestone. The FM Foundation joins your family, friends, professors, and FM administration by telling you how proud we are of you. Best wishes for continued success. Thank you, Mr. Winsman. It is my honor at this time to introduce Chancellor James Malatris from the State University of New York, who has prepared some remarks for this evening's commencement. As the leader of SUNY, Chancellor Malatris wanted to reach out to our graduates and their families with his own message of encouragement. It is my pleasure to welcome Chancellor Malatris. To the graduating class of 2021, today we celebrate over 90,000 graduating SUNY students. I know this is not how you expected your final semester to have gone. Since March of last year, as the world went into quarantine and we began a new normal of social distancing and masking up, you had to adapt to the uncertainties of what was to come to juggle new responsibilities, all while continuing on the path of completing your education. In the face of a global health crisis, you persevered. Whether it was making the transition to online learning, having to move back home to continue your studies, or not being able to be with your friends, teammates, and a favorite faculty and staff member. And despite it all, many of you stepped up to help out your campuses on the front lines with their COVID-19 efforts, from volunteering with testing, to administering vaccines, to providing academic support to those struggling with remote learning. 
You made sure that your communities were being taken care of. That is who SUNY is. That's who you are. You also created art, conducted research, and found your passions. You did it all, and I know it hasn't been easy. But today we celebrate your hard-earned and well-deserved degree. Although many of our campuses are unable to celebrate this important milestone with you, with all the pop and circumstance that you deserve, let it be known that we are all so proud of the class of 2021. The grit and determination you have shown to complete your studies, no matter the obstacles thrown in your way. You are to be admired, lauded, and always remembered. I'll cherish the opportunities I've had this year to meet so many of you, both in person and virtually, and to hear your inspiring stories. Like Madison Cunningham, who I met at my visit to Corning Community College, who was creating a toy for children with sensory processing disorders using 3D printing, and volunteers her time at the local hospital. Or Ilion Alexandre, a first-generation U Albany student and a recipient of the Norman R. McConney Jr. Award for Student Excellence, who hopes to continue on to medical school and work in emergency medicine. And Ramatu Muhammad, a SUNY Potsdam International Studies major and diversity ambassador who will be continuing her studies at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Or Jacob Eckhaus from Binghamton University, who through the Student Voices Action Committee helped create the Food Pantry Refrigeration Grant Program for all SUNY campuses. Or Kaylee Hosrath of SUNY Geneseo, who stepped up as a student volunteer using her training as an operations chief for Geneseo First Response EMT Service when all students had to be tested before leaving for Thanksgiving break. And Darian Hunt from Farmingdale State College, who recently received the inaugural Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence for being a champion of racial justice and equity on his campus. And Omar Guy, who grew up in Gambia and who is now completing his studies at Sullivan. As you all look toward the future, know that your SUNY education has prepared you to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, whether it be furthering your education or joining the workforce. You and your fellow graduates will continue the SUNY legacy of leaving a positive impact on your communities, always striving to solve for our world's most pressing problems and being stewards of excellence and innovation. As the newest members of the three million strong SUNY alumni family, I wish you luck as you start this exciting next chapter in your life and I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. I know you will do great things. Congratulations. Thank you, Chancellor Malatras. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Lieutenant Governor of the State of New York, Kathy Hochul, to deliver a message to our graduates. Lieutenant Governor Hochul. Hi. I'm Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, and first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021 and to all the people, your family, your friends, your professors who helped you make it here today. Surely a year ago when the class of 2020 was denied their rite of passage with an in-person graduation, you thought by the time you graduate, the pandemic would be gone and life would be back to normal, right? Well, here we are. Yet despite enduring uncertainty and setbacks for more than a year of COVID, you still met the rigorous academic standards required to earn a diploma from a great New York State institution. But far more than the academics that every class before you and those that follow have to meet, your education, particularly since 2020, has been utterly unique. Each of you are now qualified to teach a master class in adaptability essential life skills, and resiliency. Not sure? Just hear me out. You are now entering into a world which has been radically altered. Forces beyond our control have changed our economy, our society, and indeed have changed each and every one of us. You are now bonded with others in the class of 2021 across the nation in a shared moment in history that will define a generation. And I guarantee that your 50th reunion You'll be talking about what you endured, the sacrifices you made, how you missed your classmates and your professors, how you had the additional hardship of finishing your education through enormous stress. But through it all, missing the final days with your friends and the celebration of graduation, you endured. And it is that endurance, resiliency, and a toughness coupled with compassion and a newfound appreciation for people in all walks of life 
from healthcare workers to grocery store cashiers to countless fellow citizens who selflessly rose to meet the occasion. All of this has built a foundation for your character that will serve you for as long as you live. You may not feel like it yet, but your experience surviving the global pandemic of 2020-2021 is a rock upon which you will measure all future challenges, setbacks, and whatever life throws your way. Just like the greatest generation who endured and survived the Great Depression and World War II, you and members of your class have the potential to be a generation that is held in esteem and awe for the grit and spirit of determination that got you to this graduation today. These traits will carry you forward into a world of uncertainty, yet one of unlimited possibility. Once you walk across the virtual stage, you'll be entering a whole new era, one where we have far more questions than answers. But as a college-educated adult, you will now be called upon to help shape the answers to the burning questions of the day. Like how do we eradicate racial and social injustice? How do we foster more inclusivity for marginalized communities? How will we meet the challenge of climate change? How do we address the future of work and workplaces? How do we solve the healthcare inequities and better prepare for the next viruses that are sure to come? You are needed to help define our post-pandemic world and to answer these questions. Now, our country is turning to you, our next generation, for inspiration and hope as you build your own legacy and strive toward a more just, civil, and inclusive society. So more than just wearing a cap and tassel on your head, you also now wear the weight of these responsibilities on your shoulders. Class of 2021, as the curtain of social distancing and isolation begins to lift, more and more are vaccinated and we venture out from this period of darkness. Use your newly acquired education as the launch pad to lift off from and soar high. Use your passion and your most recent experiences to help shape our post-pandemic society into one that promotes generosity, love, and kindness. That's exactly what this world needs right now and your fellow New Yorkers are counting on you to help lead the way. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Hochul. It is with pleasure that I now introduce Senator Charles Schumer to deliver a few words to our graduates and their families. Senator Schumer. Hello, Fulton Montgomery Community College. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all you, the class of 2021, congratulations. Now, I'm really sorry I can't join you in person as I do almost every year, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this graduation day. You are special, and I wouldn't wanna miss congratulating you, COVID or not. First, a quick word to the parents. As a parent myself, I know how hard it is to raise kids these days and how much you've invested in them but it all pays off as you watch your son or daughter receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. Now to the class of 2021. You know, everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable. And for many of you, it probably has been, but certainly not in the way you've expected. With COVID affecting our nation's health, our nation's economy and your senior year, these have been unusual and difficult times. The challenges of this moment are truly unique, but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation and not letting COVID stand in the way, even if we're celebrating differently, just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what is so important in life. And nothing, nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. We have a long way to go, but for the first time in more than a year, we can start thinking about what it'll be like to return to normal. We're beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel, thanks to safe and highly effective vaccines. They're nothing short of a medical miracle, and I'm proud to have helped lead the way in Congress by prioritizing vaccine research, production, and most of all, distribution, so that everyone who wants a vaccine can now get one. And as Senate Majority Leader, the first ever from New York, I worked hard to pass the American Rescue Plan, which is putting money in the pockets of people and small businesses who have been hurt by this crisis, 
and helping our society recover in so many different ways. Now, I'm pushing President Biden to forgive $50,000 in student loans, a crushing burden for millions of college students around the nation. With a flick of a pen, he could wipe this debt clean and create a brighter future for so many people, including many of you. So, class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain. Many of you may not be sure of what's going to happen next, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, of doing things a better way. It's natural to fear the unknown. I'm sure many of you do right now, but don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. They're out there. You just have to keep your eyes open to them. Don't forget, you have incredible assets, a college degree from a great institution, and loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our nation is overcoming this pandemic, and we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. This past year has revealed the injustices and prejudices that persist in our society, and we just can't go back to the way things used to be. We must make our society better, and we know we will, because you are our future leaders and because we have faith in you. And so to FMCC class of 2021, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Thank you, Senator Schumer. It is now my honor to introduce the class of 2021. Chairman Peck, I present to you the class of 2021. They have completed courses of study prescribed by the college. They are therefore qualified as candidates for the degrees of Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Occupational Studies, and Certificates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and by the power vested in me by the State of New York and the Board of Supervisors of Fulton County and the Legislature of Montgomery County, I hereby accept these qualified students as candidates to the degrees of Associates of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Occupational Studies, and Certificates. We will now introduce the candidates. Kiera Adams. Joshua Agresta. Nicholas Agresta. Seba Alak. Gregory Alden. Bianca Alicia. Zachary Alacon, Frank Alvarez, Rosalie Anadio, Catherine Angelis, Jordan Araya, Thomas Bagnardi, Seth Bailey, Mika Baird, Melissa Baker, Justin Ball, Sarah Banks, Jonas Barkovich, Johan Baquero, Kayla Battisti, Christiana Battisti, Abigail Belandi, Richard Bellinger, Broderick Benton, Tyler Benton, Emma Bechet, Michael Blazquez, Kaylin Blowers, Morgan Bombard, Jessica Bortel, Noah Baun, Emily Brott. Nicholas Brasmeister, Darcy Bromley, Calliope Brower, Sierra Brower, Charles Brown, Catherine Brummagem Motika, Isabel Bullis, Casey Burns, 
Kristen Camino, Jeanette Carabajo, Samantha Carlson, Declan Carpenter, Desiree Carpenter, John Carpenter, Elizabeth Carrero, Olivia Casey, Jarell Castillo, Alejandro Christopher, Stacy Chung, Dominique Churchill, Gavin Clute, John Coddington, Olivia Coffin, Madison Cole, Trish Cologne, Chantel Courtright, Dominique Coyle, Nicole Craig, James Kramer, Delia May Cruz Frazier, Ryan Crooker, Nicholas Cusack, Lane Daly, Brandon Davis, Christopher Dean, Matthew Decker, Brian DiLorenzo Bahenic, Liesel Delport, Alfio DeMarco, Ennis Demir, Taylor Denmark, Amir Denmark Brown, Marcus DeRose, Gazim Debra, Dakota Dingman, Duke Doe, Dakota Donde, Mackenzie Dopp, Bryce Dorman, Luke Dockstatter, Michael Digon, Samia Eason, Nicholas Eggleston, Hayden Elmore, Valerie Elwood, Jody Farda, Samuel Feliciano, Maria Fernandez, Tawana Fields, Adam Fisher, Isaac Holmesby, Stacia Forsey, Kenneth Fortune, Katie Frederick, Abigail Gargiulo, Adele Gentile, Kira Gibson, Abigail Geese, Brendan Gladman, See you go. Ariana Gonzalez. Jasmine Gonzalez. Angie Gorris. McKenna Grady. Magdalene Grant. Michaela Gray. Alicia Green. Brian Green. Sarash Hader, Novena Hallmark, Noah Handy, Colleen Handy Roback, Jordan Hanna, Destiny Hansen, Brooke Harding, Tiana Harrigan, Devere Hart, Ann Hauser, Carrie Ann Hauser, Jackson Haverly, Nolan Hayes, Tabitha Hensel, Caleb Hill, Jacqueline Hilliard, Rebecca Hillman, 
David Hulbert, Jenna Humphrey, Haley Hunter, Cody Houston, Genevieve Iacone, Ethan Ippolito, Jail Irizari, Ryan Issa, Megan Izo, Sarah Izo, Katerina James, Chloe Jarrett, Morgan Jarrett, Hayok G, Uliara Johnson, Yasmin Johnson, Madeline Jones, Sydney Jones, Brittany Jones Messina, Jacob Kaminsky, William Kane, Alexander Katsupski, Cheyenne Kelly, Tara Kilmartin, Mariah Kirk, Chelsea Napick, Andrew Knopf, Femda Cora, Marco Kranchek Aird, Sharon Kruger, Colby Krutz, Shane Krutz, Zachary Labaff, Hunter Lasell, Katie LaGreca, Mary Lemire, Shauna Lamphere, Hannah Lamphere, Taylor Lanza, Matthew Laporte, Anna LeClaire, Taylor Lee, Mackenzie Legero, Amy Lewis, Ryan Lewis, Mackenzie Lindsay, Jenna Litchfield, Sandra Littlejohn, Runzi Lou, Anthony Luzi, Marjorie Logan, Molly Luce, Samantha Laux, Brian Lukis, Sarah Lynn, Xavier Maldonado, Skyler Mail, Christina Murata, Violet Mawir. Laddie Mowry, Elizabeth May, Shane Christian Mayer, Kathleen McDermott, Barbara Inez McKinney, Christina McLaughlin, Destiny Madrano, Emily Mayer, Kirsten Maymood, Hannah Mellis, Lindsay Mercervi, Cassandra Miller, Ashlyn Moore, Elise Morales, Christina Moreno Jacome, Emily Mormando. Adrian Moriel, Cameron Morrison, Taylor Model, Antonio Natol, Brooke Nellis, Catherine Nellis, Joshua Nellis, Ariana Nero, 
Eric Noonan, Mai Ogaswara, Victor Orsell, Corrine Ostrander, Isabella Page, Mackenzie Page, Lindsay Palmer, Martin Para, Joshua Peck, Talia Piconi, Chanel Pena, Elijah Perisic, Angelica Perez, Charles Petoff, Brianna Phillip, Caitlin Phillips, Lori Pingator, Trevor Porter, Kathleen Povey, Amber Rafferty, Chelsea Redmond, Jacob Reed, Christopher Renda, Laura Reyes Noriega, Morgan Reinhardt, Elsa Rivera, Jodis Rivera, Jillian Rockefeller, Jordan Rowe, Jennifer Romaine, Justice Roman, Kayla Romano, Sierra Roy, Elijah Ryder, Jeffrey Salatel, Ethan Sally, Amy Saltzman, Terry Salvione, Tiffany Sampson, Raymond Santiago, James Sawicki, Chloe Scheimer, William Schoff, Hannah Scott, Nipun Sethi, Emily Seyfried, Savannah Schott, Sarah Shaw, Sydney Shepherd, Caitlin Sideslag, Rihanna Simons, Andrew Sitterly, Uladzisla Slabachik, Carolyn Smith, Shane Smith, Jacob Snyder, Stephen Soto, Teresa Spuches. Kyle Stafford, Frank Staley, Andre Stanfield, Stacy Steele, Willow Stevens, Brendan Stewart, Destiny Stewart, Olivia Stewart. Kylie Stigberg, Savannah Stockett, Janelle Swanson, Daniel Zabo, Shinhung Tang, James Taylor, Chia Wee Tang, Arthur Tax. Connor Tornian, Troy Tortora, Courtney Torville, Megan Trumbull, Michaela Tucker, Rebecca Eulinger, 
Vincent Valenti, Jasmine Van Avery, Cal Van Avery, Jesse Van Ostrand, Kelly Van Ostrand, Aliyah Van Allen, Tiana Van Allen, Megan Van Ostrand, Shelby Lynn Van Ostrand, Jamie Vassy, Devin Villa Velez, Kylie Weiss, Bracey Vos, Yu Vuong, Michaela Walter Addy, Joseph Ward, Tyler Weaver, Seth Whedon, Deanna Wheeler, Evan White, Kyra Williams, Jean-Luc Williams Burpee, Destiny Wilson, Amber Wu, Jennifer Wood, Brandon Zaltipa, Ho Fung Yuen, Alexandra Zarelli, Gabriella Zarelli, Peyton Zillis. Thank you for spending the evening with us for this virtual commencement. I hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations once again to all the graduates. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2021.